good morning ladies and gentlemen i think it is indeed a pleasure to be presenting a small topic about data transformation and how the modern cfo looks at implementation of the new age technologies into the function not limited to finance but rather in the organization and i am very thankful to dun and bradstreet who took this topic and made us think about it talk about it and let me tell you i think there are three things which i would like to cover one what are the challenges when we talk about a data transformation second what are the opportunities which one gets by implementing and the third one obviously very important is the what is the right strategy you need to incorporate in order to get the best outcome so if i look at the challenges i think you know as i was hearing the panel discussion somebody mentioned that sitting on the first has been a very very difficult task had it been 10 years 15 years back because everybody will be busy finishing closing their books and such things but today's world with the automation which we have achieved is given us this opportunity to be here and now if i talk about the challenges which each one of us face when we want to implement you know finance as a function has been working on a routine topics everything pretty routine so if you want to change any routine be it in our personal lives in the professional lives or anywhere in the organization it is going to be a challenge and i think that is a fundamental thing which prevents for a good implementation of any kind of a transformation and data transformation or bringing technology is also one kind of a transformation so that is one very very important. second thing there is a bit skepticism amongst many of us is that is the data secure if i start getting into using technology whether the data is going to be secure the third very very important factor is that people don't understand very well that what it would eventually lead to whether it will really going to benefit or it will create more challenges because the guys are under pressure across the organizations in order to deliver their targets results and everything and because of such transformation null technology whether they will be hindered so i think what it prevents many of the people and organizations is to think and carry this forward now somebody has to take a bold move and say yes i believe in it and there is a possibility because somebody has to lead an initiative and that in my opinion in today's world a cfo can do extremely extremely well because cfo understands the business side fairly well as well as the numbers and the compliance and such things so now if he takes a lead on it he has an ability to explain to the entire organization including the finance and the various stakeholders be it internal stakeholders or external stakeholders that there is an advantage to do that now very simple advantage which again in the panel it was mentioned that we keep discussing about the numbers that whether this is right or your number is right or my is right or fifth one is right and i think coming from a standard source with a proper tool it assures you a consistency of data whether it is right or wrong that is immaterial but at least ensures that there is a consistency there is no such mistakes today whether there is a human error going or some other kind of a error is going and that helps us in terms of taking a decision and that is one very very important i would say opportunity when you do a transformational technological improvement second thing it gives a huge amount of time available to the staff members teams in order to do much more value analytics and today what is happening is many of the organizations you would see and especially when i talk about a company like raymond which is completing 100 years that is busy managing getting the data and then it takes awful lot of time to put together in a certain form then where is the time left for the analytics and i think what is also important in this current vuca world is also one has to understand that you you have to be agile you cannot wait 15th of the month for a review 
I think what was said third, I think it is very important that you have to take done with the previous month by third or fourth, so that you still have 26 days to implement what you have not been able to do in the uh, last month. And I think that is something which can only come by virtue of a data technology which is today being available. And I think as a country we are very fortunate that you have many technological platforms which is available to you at an affordable cost as well as you get it done and people are very smart. I think today the younger lot and even the matured lots because by virtue of learning and getting the knowledge they are getting more and more adept to the technology. You see, if we would not have been as Indians not adept to the technology, you would not have seen the kind of mobile penetration in this country. The fintech penetration, the payment, UPI payment in this country, that reflects that we can adapt to newer technologies. Now, very important factor for achieving this is also good quality of training and understanding of the people. What are we implementing? Let's say we think that we want to implement A and if the people have not really understood that we are implementing A and they are understanding something different, then it is next to impossible to implement it in the right manner in the first time. And I think that is also very important for all of us to understand that you cannot keep on experimenting with technologies. If you keep experimenting with technologies and you don't succeed once, it's okay twice or thrice, you cannot continue with this because people give up that the companies came up with technological solutions which do not get very well implemented and create challenges. So I think it is also onus on us a lot as the senior leadership team that we identify right set of solutions which is required for meeting our needs because you will have very many solutions available but some may be specific to a trading organization, some for manufacturing, some B2C and different segments of businesses. What is working in a textile business may not work in a steel industry because there is a different whole methodology of a production. So I think that is also a very important aspect that we need to pick up the right technology. One more additional point which I would like to highlight is that in terms of stakeholder management, and that is where I always feel CFOs play a very, very important role that you need to talk to the business teams, sales teams, finance teams, purchase across the organizations plus the external stakeholders effectively that what is the game plan by putting this technology. Otherwise what happens is you will not be able, if a sales team starts then the finance will have a question or on operations will have a question. When the finance guys starts to explain, there is a bit of a feeling in organizations that these guys are like a fulcrums of the organization. So their ability to explain to the whole organization gets better. And when we talk about the boards, I think the boards in today's world, I have seen got good experience with very strong board members that I think they are also want the organizations to move in that direction. But what happens is, unfortunately, when we come to the board meetings, we try to get into too much of a number crunching or becoming a very, very strategic, then they miss the data points, connectivity, what is the data transformation. And if you are able to demonstrate that journey that when I'm at a strategic slide level and when I'm at a number crunching level, there is a connect which is coming from a data and the transformation of technologies. And another important point which I think I want to highlight here is that people, when people are being told there need to be a training, not only the users of this, around the community that who is not going to use some other employees who may not be connected, but he should be also explained that why this technological implementation. Otherwise, somebody feels that today it is being done for a certain reason. Maybe there is a possibility of a job loss. But today, I think, and we sit in a country which is such a fast-paced growth, we all struggle to get good set of people. 
So I think there is no job losses because each one of us are going to grow and we need more and more good people. So I think that also is important to communicate and give them a comfort that this, your jobs are safe, secure and you should not worry because you are upgrading your skills. Another thought process which we have had and some examples which I had in the organizations, when we want to implement, for example, we have at Raymond 12 million customers database. Now, important is how many of these customers have been buying in which form and shape, which kind of a product. Now, with these AIs and the generative AI, we have got a very good database and explanation to the customers that look over your journey of last five years, you bought ABC type of products, we, we think that your liking is in this nature and why should you not consider this new range of our products or this kind of a catalog should be available to you. Now that has helped us, maybe directly it and the other finance people face the challenge, iska ROI nahi aega, paisa to kharch kar dunga, ROI nahi aega. And some of these things, in my opinion, we have to come beyond this and say these are not tangible ROIs. There is a huge amount of intangible benefits. If you get and able to explain and when actually a finance guy starts to explain to the business people, they are, without number there are intangible benefits. Na, I can tell you the confidence level across the organization goes up to a different level. Because they think finance guy to number ka hi baat karega, itna paisa nahi kamaya to kaise chalega. But it is important with today's organization, I don't think so finance people are supposed to just put the numbers or put the investor call or the analyst meeting or do the factory analysis. I think that is beyond. This is all routine activities which can all be done a lot by the systems and processes. But what is important is to see, can I grow this particular business in a certain fashion? Maybe there is a challenge today, but I have an opportunity through implementation of a technology. For example, during COVID, we were really in a situation, all retail shops were shut. We had to sell. What we found that who are our regular customers base, we said, you have been buying practically every second month some product or the other. Why don't we ship out to you ABC product? I'm not saying everybody bought. Uh, let us not think that everybody buys. But the cost of implementing a technology is not so high. You could send and maybe 10-15% got the turnout, which is great. So I think that is where all of us need to stand and say there is an opportunity which we need to capture. At Raymond, again, there is a journey. So we have said as we are transforming the business over a journey of a, let's say, five-year period, we have to have a digital journey also. You cannot say that I will achieve everything in day one and it cannot be a short-term objective. That in three months I will implement, six months I will implement, ye ho gaya, next kaam pe aage lagte. I think it has to be a larger journey where you can start maybe at a smaller pace, level, pace, but you need to build upon it. And there has to be a clear communication to the entire organization that this is my end goal and this is the way I'm going to proceed. Otherwise, what will happen is if you start, stop. The other thing is businesses will go up and down. But certain investments like R&D investments, technology investments, digital investments, these need to be continued. And that becomes again a very important task for a CFO that he needs to take this ownership that I will find the money somehow or other not to compromise on such investments. Otherwise, people will think it is a last priority. And you know, organizations look at the top that when the top thinks that this is a priority, then whole organization goes. So if we are in a position to convince the board to say if digital transformation is a very important priority, it needs to be funded throughout irrespective of the cycle. Maybe small up and down can happen. Maybe you can reduce the budget in one year, increase in the next year. But you cannot stop it. You cannot take it in the side. And I think that is again an important aspect 
which gives the confidence to the organization internal as well as external stakeholders that this is something which we want to achieve and we can continue to achieve i think that was it from my side thank you very much